Welcome to Magic Gathering Strat. I'm Dan and I just signed uh, an artist actually for Magic Gathering Strat. This is a guy who is uh, just launching a webcomic. So that means that the Magic Gathering Strat. I'm gonna show you the, the Twitch site where we use his material now. But uh, I'm about to play some pauper. And I'm gonna play Trinket against a random person in the tournament practice room. Cause I just love that. And here we are doing just that. Only have time for one video today. So I'm gonna make it count. This is the art from Twitch. If you are not subscribed to twitch.tv slash magicgatheringstrat, please do subscribe. We just uh, arranged with the third streamers. We had three people streaming on the Twitch channel. We will use his videos as well here. So that'll make us, I think, seven video makers for the channel. So uh, check that out. Uh, nobody wants to play pauper. Here we go. Cryon is our opponent. Yes, we want to play first. We are keeping this happily. And playing the capsule. The tragic slip feels good as well if you run into Delver, uh, which is likely in this room, either Delver or Delver Fiend. Here comes the capsule. We are unable to cast three of the spells in our hand, but that's not uncommon for Trinket. And it looks like Affinity! And uh, if we get the third land, I think we're pretty good against Affinity. If we don't, if we have to wait for the third land here, we have a problem. No second turn creature. And no third land. And uh, now having the Fume Spitter in play means that we have two creature kill spells as Tragic Slip will kill anything in his deck. As well. Somber Hoverguard. And Somber Hoverguard. I don't like Somber Hoverguard in Affinity, but you know that. So let's make him sacrifice one of his Somber Hoverguards. And we'll deal with the other next turn. Can't F6 because we want to be able to use the Fume Spitter. Should he Galvanic Blast it or something? Now it's a matter of surviving without... Oh, that guy is so bad! And this is why he's so bad. I should have waited with that. So I did enable Tragic Slip. In case I draw mana. But I don't draw mana. Now I'm helpless to the uh, Hoverguard. Until I draw another land. But if I draw that land, I'm still gonna win. I assume. Here comes uh, an enforcer as well, I guess. No, it's a disciple. Well, I can deal with an uh, with a disciple. Galvanic blast. Yep. He is going to raise my mana shortage. And he'll probably succeed. A 
five draw faces without a land. Will it be six? Uh, this is probably my last chance to draw the land. Even if I draw the land, I won't be able to stop the, the hover guard this turn. And one more case, yeah, I'm probably dead now. Yeah, this is way too late. I can't actually do anything, so I die. And let's uh, let's uh, look at the sideboarding options we have. I can't show you the sideboard plan, as you're well aware at this time. But I can show you what I'm sideboarding here. I'm bringing in a life staff. We have escalated the amount of cards we sideboard against Affinity. We used to sideboard very little. But now we're taking in five cards. Uh, taking out the Shittering Rats. Two Sign in Blood. And one Augur. Augur is quite useful against Affinity as he blocks. 4-4s four all day um, later in the game. This is a fairly good hand actually. It's quick to um, get the three black cards in the graveyard. I'm gonna get Swamp first. Uh, I might actually get an island here. I'm getting the island. No, I'm getting the swamp because if I draw sign in blood, I can cast it. Whoa! Who is the psychic now? Okay, well, next turn I'm gonna go get my uh, island. And I have one black card in the graveyard. Feeling pretty good about myself. He is using Thoughtcast. I'm gonna have to discard. And I'm discarding the Crypt Rats, getting three black cards in my graveyard. Uh. So I'm ready to kill something. Though I might want to be able to resurrect the Crypt Rat next turn, I have the Maldrifter combo if it taps out. And Spinning Darkness is so good here because it enables me to... And this is also why you don't play Somber Hour Guard. Because it dies to everything. Spreading Seas. Uh, okay. Ooh. Oh, that, that's not very good, is it? Well, he gets to draw a card, but I actually often have a shortage of islands, so I can live with that. And it's time for some, uh, some happy comboing. Uh, I'm thinking that I might not even want to do this, because... I have so many playable cards, but I need to draw more lands. So I'm doing it, and then I will have to discard. So I'm first drawing the two cards. Uh, Undying Evil. No lands so far. Here we go. I would be very surprised if, if he can kill me in this game, it's because of a dog fling. Because no creature will get past this. But I do not find the lands. Well, we need all our removal. We can probably get rid of a fume spit there. That means we can actually cast Spinning Darkness right away. Uh, we haven't drawn another Undying Evil, so we can't Muldrifter again. Uh, and we might actually have to Muldrifter for... Oh, that would suck. We really want the fifth mana. We would like the fifth mana. Hmm. 
There's a campus forger. Springleaf drum. One blue mana for a somber hover guard. We'll just get rid of. Uh, that's pretty good. Do I want it back? I guess I actually want it to be a swamp, right? Okay, I have decided that I want the island to be a swamp. So I return it to my hand. And live heavily, happily ever after. I feel pretty comfortable here. He can still do an Atog fling thing. With the Disciple, definitely. Even without the Disciple, an Atog can become a 19, 21. Yeah, he could definitely kill me with an Atog. Uh, that, that is why we need to keep mana open, either for the capsule or for Tragic Slip. But we don't have a way to trigger Tragic Slip, so. We probably need to keep capsule mana open because that's the only way I see we can lose. And we might lose right now if Mr. Atog shows his ugly face. I'm three minutes ahead of this guy, so I guess he's not extremely used to affinity because affinity normally plays a lot faster than. Uh, then my deck plays. Okay, now I'm very tempted to uh, Tragic Slip. He has to fling. That's why he's thinking so much. But now he just have seven artifacts. And he need... Not even ten is enough. Alright. Well, he made things very easy. Capsule on the A-Tog. And it would be a waste of time play casting a Maldrifter with Evoke here. I'd rather cast them for real. Is he flinging it? Is he Gavanic blasting me? Okay, then he must really have a tog fling in his hand, which is interesting. We shall see. This tragedy slip is will reduce the a tog by. Oh, it doesn't happen. How much mana is this? Yeah, I'm gonna play the Maldrifter. Well, now I have an Edict, so... That will protect me against an Atog Fling. If I time it right. And now it won't. Uh, 
and here it comes. And I think I need to cast the edict then before um, the frog might. So the frog might can't be sacrificed, meaning that we have only seven artifacts here. So he needs another artifact in order to be able to fling me. Or two, really, right? He can only get to 15. Uh, I was one mana from being able to kill him with Maldrith the Crypt Rat. Oh, he's flinging. Nine. That seems very hopeful. Yeah, nine does nothing. Okay, eleven. Thirteen, fifteen. Well, he could have a Galvanic Blast, but that will only do two now, so... Wow, that wasn't a, much, that wasn't a lot. Alright, 1-1! One, one. And we move into the final game. We have a problem casting our stuff here. And we will have to discard turn 2, which is always uncomfortable. We can't cast Geth Verdict. And we have a lot of tragic slips that will be hard to use. Carapace Forger, a small Carapace Forger. But he will not stay small for long. I'd rather go get the Swamp here, I think. And the Edict. But after that, I have a lot of problems. What is taking you so long, sir? Why are you so slow? Sorry. But I get I get sorry for you viewers when people are like five minutes slower than me with affinity. But I'm sure he has his reasons. Here comes the sun. Or at least this Carapace Forger guy. We must remember his clever plan so he will probably attack this swamp
Uh, or surely he will attack the aqueduct itself. But we need to play it, we can't slow down here. What now? Now we can cast the verdict, but he will destroy the verdict with his uh, not very good cyborg plan. And then we can't cast it, and then that mirror enforcer can kill us. But that didn't happen. So we can now verdict him. Yeah, that's pretty much it. We're gonna do it on his turn in case he plays another guy that we can tragic slip. That will be party time. I'm tempted to verdict him later, but that is probably bad. We can still tragic slip a, a thing that he plays later in the turn, of course. Geth says die! Everyone should owe you something. That's a weird quote. Well, now we have looping fume spitter. And the crypt rat. The fun has just begun. Prophetic Prism finally gives him the red mana he needs. Something expensive is being considered over there. But what is it? We do not know. It's a tog. It's not any tog. It's a tog. Oh well, maybe that sort of means like any tog. Uh, I think I definitely would uh, happily see Mr. Tog dead. So that's why I'm gonna. Make make it so. And now I have a Grim Harvest for Fume Spitter, but I don't have the mana to to retrieve the Grim Harvest should he kill the Crypt Rat. So I think I'm not gonna do it. There comes spreading seas, reducing my mana substantially. Do I risk it for a fume spitter? I still don't have the mana to do both things. I'm risking it. Uh, whoo, this will be slow. But it's of course the aqueduct. <laughs> oh, that felt bad. And the fume spitter. And the life staff. And the tragic slip as backup. Risking the grim harvest. Which is why I will not do fume spitter. But nothing happens. And I think, I, I wonder what he took out for the seas. What do you have in Affinity that you don't want in this matchup? Well, just not doing much until I get my harvest back. And this is the time, right? So I fume spit, get the harvest back. He 
hit him for one uh, and then equip the crypt rat and at the end of his turn I will harvest for the fume spitter I might also should he play something large, uh, actually Crypt Rat for one here and cast Tragic Slip on his larger creature He can now disrupt this by killing the Crypt Rat, but he doesn't do it again. Fume Spit there. Attack. Equip Life Staff. Kill that thing. Get some lives. And now he times it. That's that's pretty late, isn't it? Cause I now get it back. Well, I think this guy is new to Affinity and new to this matchup. Uh, that was a pretty serious player. That means it will be embarrassing not to win, though I have a hard time imagining how I don't win here. I could actually crypt that harvest loop here, but I want to take away his cards in his hand because I am evil. That's why I play blue black. Yeah, Ogre of Skull Stars, he just has a grip full of Galvanic Blast that he should have used earlier. Does it really work to do a crit loop? It sounds very expensive. I want a Muldrifter. I can't have a Muldrifter. If I can't have a Muldrifter, I want a Fume Spitter. Oh, that wasn't a Fume Spitter. Okay, let's try it again. Uh, when running Snagit to record, I have to keep the screen small which uh, makes me do mistake like that but it's it's pretty bad okay you get to discard i get to get my grim harvest back and actually that means that somebody died this time oh it took in pyroblast as well they are not very good against me i wonder if he kept one Do you think he kept one? I don't know. We're not going to find out this turn because we are going to play a Crypt Rat and Life Stuff it. I can Crypt Rat for 5 here. It seems better to beat him for 2 than to Crypt Rat for 5. And Grim Harvest is actually in my hand right now. He is giving up and I don't blame him. Thank you, Sion, for the game. And I hope I showed you why this is such a good matchup for Trinket. One of the best, Affinity. Uh, especially when Affinity don't play Atog Fling. But nobody does that nowadays, I think. Everybody plays Atog Fling. Uh, thanks for watching Magic Gathering Strat. I'm Dan. And I am happy because I have a new picture for Twitch that we actually own the rights to
Thanks for watching.